Hey, what's going on, man? Hola, amigo. Como estas? Guten Tag. Wie geht's dir? Hope everything's going good. Here we've got Jethro 15 to T-34 on Fisherman's Bay. Standard battle. This is a Tier 5 tank and a Tier 5 game. This is a uh, Tier 5 medium tank for the, for the Russians. So I have seen the slides on this one, and I know it's going to be a good one. But I don't know the particulars. We so, nicht wahr? So I like that you're out here and you're looking around and everything. The only thing though, bro, is you're right out in the open. I don't know if someone comes around right down there, you're going to get shot right in the face. If someone comes from your left, you're going to get shot. If someone comes in front of you, just like this cruiser, you're going to get shot. Well, although the cruiser won't do anything to you, really. All I'd say is just uh, back up, mate. Well, Push some weird buttons. Back up a little bit, maybe hug one of these two sides there. That's all. And he did end up taking a shot there, as you just saw, but he did put two in on that cruiser. And we got the good old... The good old Canadian flag there. Hater part. So this is strange. We completely lost this entire western flank over here. I guess it's not really all that weird though, is it? This is only a tier 5 game. Perfect, that's a Celsius gonna sit there. You do just like what you did. You just keep pumping those shots out. Take them out. Let's see, we're down 2 6. This is gonna be interesting. It's gonna be interesting to see how this one works out. He's got himself one kill, 3 6. Whoa, skip. You better watch where you're driving. Okay, so now we gotta. Oh, okay, that's the end of him. I wonder if any of you know what I'm thinking right now. It's 5-9. We've lost quite a few. Actually, we've only lost one, two, two tier two, two tier five tanks. That's surprising. They've lost three tier five tanks. We've only lost two. We've lost basically, we've lost everything else. Okay, there goes another tier five tank. <clears throat> See, when you get... When you get wrapped up like this team did, when you get wrapped up and they're all over your side like this, and they when they bottle you up, that's just bad. You can't do that, you know. And I'm not saying that Jethro, I'm not saying that you did it, obviously, you're on the far freaking right side. But these guys gotta go and they gotta push up. It's gotta be an even front no matter what. Dash will take out his first artillery kill at the M37. T25 and the Matilda Black Prince are trying to do something. T25 should be able to take out that Panzer 1C. Yep. Black Prince takes him out. Then T25 gets taken out by a T28. Jethro gets himself a couple kills there. Takes out the other two artillery pieces and at Stewart, although although he's only at one percent. Oh, he fired early. There you go. Good job. 
Just be, just be still, beating heart. Just when you're under that pressure like that, don't, don't just let that, let that reticle come in, bro. Let it come in, then take the shot. Just fire a little too early. And now it looks like they have two on cap. Before it looked like they might have had just one on cap, but now it's going up by twos. So I'm assuming that they have two on cap. Zoom in, bro. It's good that you took that guy out. That's exactly what you want to do, but you got lucky. You know, you got to zoom in. There you go. Reset the cap. There, now you're zoomed in. That's what I like to see. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There you go. Now, this just got interesting, didn't it? Eighty-four health. What are you gonna do? All right, place your bets. What's gonna happen? Got Churchill, Mark three, Churchill, Churchill, blah. Churchill three, ninety percent, tier five. Versus Jethro fifteen, eight kills, tier five. Eighty-four health. And they're off. Yeah. Yeah, you just didn't have the HP for it. And you were shooting them from the front. There wasn't a whole heck of a lot you could do there. Let's uh let's go ahead and take a look at those stats. You had a pretty crazy game. Let's see how they turn out. I don't think anybody'd be surprised to see that. Master Bash Age Tanker. We have something else here that's kind of interesting. I highlighted it for you. It's Pescucci's medal. It's awarded for the destruction of three enemy self-propelled guns. Second Lieutenant Luigi R. R. B. Pescucci was an Italian tank commander during World War II. He fought with the Arrieti Tank Division in North Africa. Pescucci fought in the Second Battle of El Alamein, where he sacrificed his life in a reckless frontal attack that enabled the rest of his company to escape encirclement. Also picked himself up a top gun, obviously, and a Man, what is the name of that thing? I keep wanting to say Kalbanov's medal, but I don't think that's what it is. Picked himself up eight kills, so I can't remember what it is, but it's uh I think it's seven or eight and you get the medal. I can't God, what the heck is it? Man, that ticks me off. I usually know these things like the back of my hand too. And then I moved here. That's it. I moved that's why I have two. I'm sorry if I just blew out your ear headphones too. But that's why I have it. Rally Walters medal. That's awarded to uh, players in the f in the fifth or higher tier. So tier fives and above for destroying eight or nine enemy vehicles in one battle. Uh, Sydney Valpy Radley Walters was a Canadian tank ace of the 27th Armored Regiment in his 1944 to 45. In 1944 to 1945, he destroyed 18 German vehicles with his Sherman Firefly. That's pretty crazy. That's a lot of destroyed... Knocked out German tanks or German vehicles, so. But still. Okay, now let's move on to the second one. Uh, no surprise here. Did the most damage, 1,824. Next highest guy was the T14, 1,221. Opposite team, T28 with 1,644. So you yeah, had 200 more than basically the next highest overall. 33 shots fired, 26 direct hits, all 26 penned. Very nice. He took a hit, six of them penned, two of them non penned. Not a whole heck of a lot of armor to this thing. It is a medium tank after all. Although he did bounce some from probably uh, lower tier tanks, which is you know gonna gonna happen. With premium, oh, premium player here. 
Auto repair the vehicle, 2,652 credits. Auto supply the ammo was 1,848. And the resupply the consumables is 1,500. So there must be some sort of thing going on for those consumables. Grand whopping total of 37,582 credits earned. That's really good. That's why I keep I keep harping on playing the tier 5 tanks. That's where you can make your most money. Even tier 6s, they start to cost a little bit more. And tier 4s, you don't get enough money for them. I think tier 5 is really the sweet spot for making money in these things. Uh, the only thing, I think you did a good job. Like I said uh, at the beginning there, I wish you, just when you were first went to that city, you just got to be a little bit more careful because if some ba big bad boy shows up, he could have really ruined your day, especially if that guy had a derp gun. But um, now here, what you did was you went off and you destroyed the enemy artillery. You went... You went artillery hunting and you killed that uh, M5 Stewart at the same time. Just got to be careful about doing that. I don't necessarily think that you did anything wrong in this one, but you just got to be careful because sometimes, or at least when you get to the higher tiers, the better players are going to start capping right away to force you to come back. And I don't know if you're going to have enough time to go screw around and, and kill artillery. You, you could have probably went back and tried to help out with the uh, other teammates that were still left alive rather than going after the arty but uh, i think you can i think you get away with it in this one just when you get to the higher tiers or players that uh when you're going against players that know a little bit more about what they're doing you just got to watch that that's all otherwise great gameplay thank you so much for sending that in please like the video uh down below please comment to let jethro know what you think also, please subscribe if you're not already a subscriber for more World of Tanks action. And finally, please donate if you would consider that as well because it helps helps me make this channel better, helps me buy new computer equipment and pay my bills so that I can continue to keep doing this. So with all that said, have a great day. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for sending in the replay and take care, guys. Bye.